Today I'm going to show you how to produce in the style of Calvin Harris, one of my favourite all-time producers. Now if you haven't already, don't forget to check out last week's Duke DeMont video. After I published it, he sent me a direct message telling me the bass line is pretty much how he made it and the actual song won't look back, so check that out. You can download all of the samples and the presets completely free below this video. So this is following on in my how to in the style of videos which have had an insane response from you guys, so thank you for the support. Now I got so many requests last week for Calvin Harris which I'm thrilled about because he's one of my top five all time producers, maybe even my top three, but he's got so many different styles. So if you go back to the early 2000s when he came out with I Created Disco and that electro indie vibe. Then he went on to the Ready For The Weekend album, which is my personal favorite. Then he did the Big Room EDM stuff, then the Deep House stuff with Disciples, and now he's back on that funk tip. So that is what we are gonna be doing today. So we will be covering the kick and that funky bass. We will be covering the chord progression. And the vocals and those funky little Calvin Harris synths. I started on the same software as Calvin Harris in the 1990s with Octomed on a computer called the Amiga 500. Luckily things have advanced since then so I'm going to be using Ableton Live 10 but you can follow along in any door. I've also had requests to show you what third party plugins to use and as Calvin Harris uses lots of outboard synths and classic hardware I'm going to be using a lot of the Arturia soft synths which model those classic synthesizers. If you dig it smash like, subscribe to the channel for tutorials like this each and every week and without further ado let's pop into the door and get it done. Okay how to produce music in the style of Calvin Harris. The first thing I'm going to do is set the tempo which is 100. I've called this funky tweed. I'm going to go and I'm going to load in this analog lab. It's worth noting that my masterclass students all get 50% off Arturia plugins but there's a link to them below anyway. So I'm gonna choose a grand piano and you don't have to have these plugins, but they do replicate some of these synths beautifully. So we're gonna do this in A minor natural because it's the simplest uh, key to writing because it's just the white note. So I'll show you how you can do it if you can't play the piano. But first I'm gonna play it in because Calvin Harris often just plays in the live instruments, which gives it slight discrepancies in velocity and timing, uh, which is one of his hallmarks actually. I'm gonna tweak that slightly uh, because it was rubbish. Uh, but it's pretty much there anyway, so. I'm just gonna pull in the timing slightly. I don't wanna completely quantize it because I still want that realistic sounding piano. Okay, I'm gonna have to drag some of them. Almost there. And then I'll show you how you can program this in if you can't play piano at all. Just tweaking the timing slightly. That was the wrong note. There we go. So this is gonna be the basis for the whole track, this chord progression. Now, one of Calvin Harris's skills is creating simple chord progressions that want to keep leading you on through the track. So I'm gonna draw this in, um, in this clip, show you how to do it. So the first thing is to draw in all the notes of A minor natural. So that's just all the white notes from A up to A. 
and then you can press fold in Ableton and that's my template technique and it's super easy. I'm just going to create three octaves of A minor natural. See when we press fold, boom, any notes we draw in are going to sound good and in the key. So I'm just going to move them to the side of the clip by pressing left cursor and now we can draw in these bass notes. So instead of playing the first chord of the A minor natural, which would be that, Calvin Harris often starts with a different bass note. So the bass note we're starting with is actually an F and it makes it want to resolve to the next chord. So let's just draw in those notes. Whoops, how have I got an F sharp in there? Come on, rewind. Why is that there? That's a mistake. There shouldn't be any black notes there. Oh, I obviously copied it incorrectly. So let's try that one again. A. Now fold. There we go, that's better. So let's draw in those bass notes. And you can see it's easy because I'm just using this template and skipping a note each time to draw the chords in and I can't actually hit any wrong notes. Nice. And I think I'll change the last chord. Nice. So they're the chords that we're using, except I've played them in. Okay, next thing we're going to do is put a kick in, just to kind of get the base of the track there. So we'll go to Will's favorite, and I'm just going to stick in a kick. You might layer a or acoustic kick with an electronic kick to give it the real sound. Um, but this is something that we want to be perfectly in time, the kick. Um, just to pin the track in. What's going on? Whoops. I accidentally copied a kick onto the piano, so let's just rewind. There we go, we've got our analog back in. So let's put the kick actually on the kick track. And there we go. I actually prefer these pianos that we drew in, so we're going to just copy that. And now we are going to put in the bass. And we are going to use, actually no, we're going to put in a guitar first because this is going to kind of dictate the rhythm. And the reason is, it's really hard to replicate a real guitar sound without a real guitar. So I'm actually going to find a loop in Splice for this. Don't forget you can download this project and all the samples completely free below this video. Um, but let's find, so in S Splice you can just search for instruments, guitar, we know what key it's in, it's in A minor because that's the key that we're writing it in. So then you can just have a listen and see if any sound good. And don't worry about the timing because we can adjust the timing. So open Splice. but we want it to be quite funky. That's quite cool. I'm having that anyway. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I've just been transported to space by a funk spaceship. And we're gonna have this one as well. So, we can see here it says it's 125 BPM. So if we go into there, press warp 125, it's now going to be in sync with our track. Let's have a listen. 
I might kind of double that up. Now that's too fast. Okay. Uh, I'll try a different one as well. I like this one better. 108 BPM. 108. It's going to sound better because it's closer to the actual tempo of the tune. So let's wait till Splice stops playing it. Now I've just put some room reverb on, which is on the auxiliary channel. Take out the low end from the reverb. Now let's start building this tune. We want the bass. This is where that funk's going to come from. So again, I've been asked not to use just Ableton Live plugins, and that's good in this instance because I'm going to use Contact because it's got some really nice bass guitar patches. And again, I don't have a bass guitar with me. I don't have a real guitar in here, so I have to be programming it in. But I still want that sound, that real sound. So I'm just going to play it in, but I'm going to record it and just follow those bass notes that I was playing. And just the, the funk guitar is going to kind of dictate where I want to hit the notes. No. Yeah, that's better. Yes, okay, so let's tweak this up. I'm just gonna get the timing a bit more close, but again, I'm not going to quantize it. But I, well, actually, I pretty much am. And then I'm going to add a couple of flourishes. And you can see all of these notes are in the key of A minor because it's just the white notes. Whoops. This would be it. Except this bit, I'm going to take it out of the key just to do an accidental. Am I? Yeah. Just for a bit of interest. So let's listen to the bass notes. So it's a bit loose. It's got that funk to it. And that is going to be our funk loop and our bass guitar. Cool, okay, on to the next thing. We are gonna use some of these Arturia synths that I was talking about. So layer up those synths big time. Okay, let's color the piano blue because it's a real instrument. Guitar can be blue. And these synths I'm gonna color cyan because as I've discussed, cyan is a natural color in nature for synthesizers and that's definite science. Okay, on to another instance of this analog lab, which again, masterclass students get 50% off of. Um, so we have got a few options here. Look, you can see all of these classic old synths. We've got a Jupiter 8, we've got a Prophet 5. So let's just have a listen to some of these and we're gonna augment these chords. So I might put uh, keys. Profit 5 keys, let's see what they got. It's a bit. And we can just play along and wait till we find something that sounds pretty good. 
I already like it, yes. So I'm just going to play with some more chords over the top. But they're still based on the original chords. But I'm going to have them follow the bass guitar just to lock in that groove. And let's just tweak them in a bit, get them in time. I might change the sound, it's a bit too airy. So let's have a listen to some different sounds. I'm just gonna consolidate that into one clip, duplicate it, and let's just scroll through some of these as it's playing. That's cool. Let's layer up another sound on top of that. I'm just duplicating it and I'm going to pick a different sound. Um, something with a bit more pluck to it because we don't want to layer up a load of similar sounds. Okay, that will do for now. Next thing we're going to do is get some drums in there. We want some real funk drums to, to match that bass and guitar. So I'm just gonna get the bass and the guitar and we want some real funk sounds. So we want some quite realistic sounds. We'll get some real claps in there um, and we are also going to kind of offset them We're also going to do a, a little incidental clap hit rhythm. And we'll add some delay on this too. So that's like a classic 909 clap, and the 909 was a classic drum machine. But let's get 
the echo on here. So this is just the Ableton plugins. Turn it to notes. Ping pong. Just a little like bit of interest. But now let's do the main claps. So we are gonna go to drum hits. And we want some human sounding claps. So it sounds like people are really clapping you know, and that's gonna give us a bit of a disco feel, a bit of a funk feel. And let's just program them in, and we're gonna offset them slightly to make it sound human. Something sounds weird. Yeah, that one, that sounds like a horse or something. Horses don't clap. I learned that growing up on a farm. I didn't. Oh, not the horse again. Get out, horse. Never have a horse in a studio. Never get a horse to clap. You can, you can have that advice for free, by the way. Yeah, that's sounding pretty cool. Let's pan these drums a bit left and right and get some, uh, where are the horse ones that we don't want? Horse, die. Don't kill horses either. Come on guys, there's a happy middle ground here. You don't have to kill horses, just don't use them for claps. I shouldn't have to say that. group these together because they're a bit quiet and I'm going to pan them left and right. And I'm going to use a different clap sound as well because that's a bit weak, pre-shifted claps. That's nice because it's got a snare in there as well. So we're going to use that and then program that in. That's better, a bit more weight. And let's add some reverb to them. So you can see I've actually got uh, the room reverb assigned to one of my sends channels within drum rack and that's so I can add reverb just to those drums. And now let's get some of those open hats in there and again we want real drum sounds. So I'm going to go and look for some open hats but real ones. Oh, actually you could have an 808 one just to add something interesting in there. No, I'll get real ones first. There's one, nice. And I'm gonna have a closed hat to complement that. So drum hits, closed hats, real one. There we go. So let's just get some of those in there. I might take out some of those claps. The ones with the hi-hat. So I'm only gonna have that on every other one. 
just to keep, give some variety and interest. So let's get the open hats programmed in there. Oh no, they're groups, aren't they? So I can only see the claps here. Oh no. All right, I'm ungrouping that. I know why that's happened. It's to do with the mapping and it's really annoying. Right, let's get that back in there. So I've ungrouped the claps again because they were the mapping was interfering with the main drum machine. I forgot about that little feature. Okay, let's get that open hat. There we go. Now let's program some of those bad boys in. Oh, it's doing it again. Okay, I'm going to have to open up the routing. Why would I want the routing to be exactly the same for all these? Okay, that's going now on. No, that's too high up. Let's put it down there. Down there. Like this is, it's just annoying. G, F1, A1. Okay, then now it's on its own thing. And I'm going to do this on the one above it. So just one above A1. There, okay. Let's try again. And we want this clo this open hat to finish playing as soon as the MIDI note stops. So we're going to turn the sustain right up and the release right down. And then it stops exactly when I let go of it. And we want some bongos in there as well, and some toms. I won't spend too long making it perfect because we're trying to do this quickly. Now let's get in a bongo loop. So I'm just going to go to my drum loops and get something with a vibe to it. Congos and bongos. Again, to give it that real acoustic feel. In fact, that's probably going to do. 118, I can see there, 118. So I can put 118 there. Now let's have a listen. It's like At the River by Groove Armada. got some clipping on the master channel so we are going to turn everything down a bit because uh, that is a good idea we don't want clipping on the master channel but now we've got too much reverb on those drums Now I'm going to find another little synth riff to make it a bit more Calvin Harrisy, and again I'm going to load up the Archeria synths 
So analog. The analog lab basically just let, lets you uh, access all of their synths from one place. It's just much easier. I'm just going to have a play, see what happens. lead, no types lead. I can always change the sound afterwards, but I quite like that, it's kind of whimsical. Play that again. Yes, I like that a lot. I'm just going to tighten it up a bit. In fact, I am just going to quantize these. Uh, eight, no, I, I, I'll just tweak them. Stay as we have been. That's a bit of a harsh sound though. Ain't nobody got ears for that. But it does need to be that short, plucky sound. Sorry if this is deafening you, by the way. How is it an octave below? Oh, yeah. Cool, I'm digging that. Next thing we are gonna do is find some vocals. So, Calvin Harris often works with, as you know, absolute top tier vocalists and singers. He, he has sung in his own tracks before, before, but by his own admission, he's not exactly a great singer. So if you can work with people like The Weeknd, why wouldn't you? So I'm gonna just open up Splice and just search for some vocals. You can use soundbetter.com. That would be a good place to find a vocalist if you don't know any. Better than trying to find stuff on Splice or Loop Cloud, because uh, loads of other people will have it too. But let's just have a listen. A minor vocals. Like, I'm having that. Like, stop it. Just stop it. You're doing my head in. I'm still having that. <laughs> because um, I've already downloaded it, haven't I? Copy to clipboard. Okay, I'm going to drop your ass in. I just want this for, like, the end of the, the end of the thingy. End of the phrase. So 125. And we're just gonna have that as a little, because he often does pitch bend vocals, which is quite cool, which I really like as well. So we're just gonna have this last bit. That's just going to be the at the end in the background. Let's find the main vocal then. So again, I'm just searching on Splice. Let's try it again. Vocals. No 
That was a good one. the texture of that so a minor i've selected his pack because i like it if i'm shouting it's because i turn up my monitors too loud okay let's find a chorus Let's see if there's a verse we can take as well. You always try to be that fly. Sitting on the wall, not minding. Nice. Nice one, Gem Strickland. I'll have that. Okay. Right, now let's kind of build out some bit of a structure. First I'm going to put that cool little guitar sound that we got earlier from Splice that I just said I'm, I'm having that. Now where is it? That one. Like that's proper Calvin Harris. So we're just going to have that in because, you know, why not? Put some hall reverb on the AUX channel. And get those vocals in from Gem. And then and we'll see if we can work out a tiny bit of arrangement. So all I'm going to do is copy that. And that can be our chorus. So let's, let's say that our chorus is here, this bit. So everything in. Let's put the chorus in. So where are his vocals? You got to keep on moving, don't you know? 176 BPM. Don't you know? Don't you know? Let's see what it sounds like. You got Stop to it, Jem. There's a time and a place. You know? This is not the time. Stop singing. You I might have to double it up. You got to You got to keep on moving, don't you? Yeah. Except that that's you've got to keep on moving, don't you know? That is the drop. You got to keep. You, you got to keep on moving. And then the drop is the chorus. You got to keep on moving, don't you know? Don't you know? That is the chorus right there. Loving that. That might be the post chorus actually. But I'm going to take out some of these synths and we're going to build up a bit of arrangement. So we're going to have this ethereal bit. And let's see what's going on with this vocal here 115 BPM. A warp 115. I'm digging this. I'm loving it. Okay, let's put that up. Do, 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 do. Chorus. Got to keep on moving, don't you know? Don't you know? Right, okay, let's process that slightly. I'm going to have the chorus on its own channel and like the levels are all over the place. So let's get some compression on there, a bit of EQ. Now remember guys, this is rough. There's a load more to the production process. I'm just trying to work quickly and give you an idea about coming up with an idea from scratch. 
You got to keep on moving, don't you know? Compress it slightly because it's all over the place. You got to keep on moving, don't you know? In terms of the uh, levels, it's all over the place. Cool, okay, let's add a bit of an EQ boost. We're going to add some hall reverb to that. You got to keep on moving, don't you know? No, don't you know? Don't you know? You got to keep on moving, don't you know? And I'm going to add a tiny bit of delay on there as well. I'll create an aux channel for that to give us more control. Uh, echo, a real tight one, not much feedback. No, just to give it some presence. No, don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? No, don't you know? No, don't you know? Don't you know? Okay, what you got for me, Gem? Let's do it. I know this bit is going to be right. Let's take the drums out here. Don't want any drums. We're just going to go kick. This bit's going to be a bit of a build up. So we're going to group the kick and the bass together, and then we're going to process both of them with a filter. Check it out. Check it out. Yes. And then I'm just going to have it go straight to this little intro to the chorus. Oh, that's loud. Okay. And then we're just going to go the clap. You keep on moving, don't you know? So, the mix needs work. So I'll do a bit more work on that, but that's... You got to keep on moving, don't you know? Don't you know? So that's pretty much the vibe of it. You got to keep on moving, don't you know? There you go, guys. As I said, you can download everything completely free below this video. It's a bit of a different style from my usual videos, but I hope you've learned a lot from it. Uh, download everything free below, check out the masterclass if you want more tuition from me and discounts on this and those, these and those more plugins. And until next time, thanks for watching, have a fantastic weekend, cheers.